Fox Sports. We are Baltimore. We are St. Louis. Hot, steamy night in St. Louis as interleague play rolls on in this 2013 campaign. The Houston Astros and the St. Louis Cardinals. They are known as the best fans in baseball. Remarkably, over the weekend, the Cardinals drew over 133,000 fans against Miami. Tonight, over 40,000 come through the turnstiles. Baseball in St. Louis. Been known for the greats that have worn the birds on the bat. Many ways defined by the grace and greatness of a gentleman that wore number six. Baseball in St. Louis, known as well for winning. Well, they add another banner to that row in 2013. They're on their way this year with 53 wins. And welcome to St. Louis Cardinals baseball. That's Al Roboski, the Mad Hungarian. I'm Dan McLaughlin. We have the auction. We'll be talking about that throughout our telecast here tonight, hopefully raising thousands of dollars for Cardinals care. But we also have baseball between the white lines and the Cardinals face an old buddy in Bud Norris. Oh, let's talk about the auction. But no, <laughs> we'll have fun with that. But we'll also have a baseball game, as you said. You know, last time we matched up a two-game series with Houston, we split that two-game series. So don't take them lightly, especially. Especially Bud Norris on the mound. And Adam Wainwright getting the start for St. Louis, the ace of this staff. Wayno going for the Cardinals. Bud Norris for Houston. It's the Cardinals and Astros coming up. Norris and the Astros. Alan Craig will bat cleanup, stretching, getting loose as we edge closer to baseball tonight.
tonight. The All-Stars of the Cardinals on display. Adam Wainwright getting the start. Carlos Beltran is in the lineup. The Cardinals, the Astros, coming up on Fox Sports Midwest. slash TV auction or give us a call at 314-345-9418 and a chance to bid on some unique one-of-a-kind experiences. The first one we tell you about of six, the Mike Matheny VIP experience. You'll meet Mike, go in his office, watch him meet with the media, then head out onto the field, watch BP. That's for a mutually agreed upon date. How about a private dinner with a Hall of Famer? One of the all-century players, that's Lou Brock. An exclusive experience for two people. This is really a sensational deal. You get two field box tickets. You head over to Kimmel's with Lou Brock and his wife, Jackie. That also a mutually agreed upon date. Catch on the field with Cardinals starter Shelby Miller. All four attendees receive an autographed baseball from Shelby. Also, you'll tour the Cardinals clubhouse. This is for a mutually agreed upon date. It also includes four field box tickets. Our very own Jim Edmonds in Fox Sports Midwest, we've gotten in the act as well. Exclusive access, joining Jim on set for Fox Sports Midwest pregame show. Then you'll shadow Jim Hayes on the field for BP. Spend the game in a private room on the broadcast level. That includes all your food and beverages. Jim Edmonds will stop on by as well. That's for the game against the Atlanta Braves on August 22nd. Meanwhile, we have another Hall of Fame experience. Whitey Herzog will uh, include the TV experience with this as well. Visit the TV broadcast booth during the game. Two innings there. Meet the broadcasters. Also, head downstairs into the production truck during the pregame and see how that's done. Unique experience. That is Tuesday, August 6th against the L.A. Dodgers. Finally, the ultimate game day experience. This is a very cool experience. Exclusive behind-the-scenes tour of Bush Stadium. You'll be a member of the grounds crew. Be a part of Team Fred Bird, public address announcer for a half inning. Spend a half inning in the Rick Hummel, Bob Bragg press box. Dinner for four in the Cardinals Club, VIP parking, four field box tickets. And that's when the Pittsburgh Pirates are in St. Louis in that battle for the NL Central. So you'll be hearing about these experiences all night long. Now Jim Hayes down on the field joins us. And, Jim, this should be a, a really a, a special night for the fans. Really once-in-a-lifetime opportunities, Dan, up for auction tonight. And all for Cardinals Care, which does such a great job helping out deserving local youngsters. I'm going to be down here by the big tote board updating the bids and reminding folks about the great packages we have to offer. A couple of reminders now. The bidding ends at the end of the seventh inning. And the number to call if you'd like to bid on something, 314 345 Nine four 
1-8. The Cardinals getting ready to face the Astros. Cardinals baseball coming up on Fox Sports Midwest. West and our crew, Fox Sports Midwest. Adam Wainwright taking to the hill. And he's part of our Toyota Keys to the game tonight. Well, Adam Wainwright just, if he has command of the strike zone, then these young hitters are going to be guessing. Curveball, cutter, changeup. Is it going to be the fastball, two seamer, four seamer? And the Cardinal hitters, they need to swing at strikes. We've seen a lot of times early in Bud Norris's career. They really chase the high fastball or the slider out of the strike zone. Cardinals have had more success against him lately. Take a look at this uh, Houston lineup that he'll face. The Astros come in 32 and 57, 20 and a half games out. Altuve, Wallace, the former Cardinal, then uh, uh, Castro. It's Martinez, Pena, Kraus, Barnes, Cedeno, and Norris. Jason Castro, the all-star this year for Houston. Around the horn, brought to you by Dobbs. Holiday, Jay and Beltron in the outfield. Freeze Descalso on the left side of the infield. Carpenter and Craig on the right side. Good to see Yachty back in there. He'll catch tonight. And Adam Wainwright, your home starter, is brought to you by Kia. His first start against Houston, and that is his favorite opponent. He has 12 victories against them. And he has the lowest ERA, 1.58, in his career against the Astros. Cardinals baseball on Fox Sports Midwest is brought to you by Budweiser. The official beer of Major League Baseball. Great times are waiting. Grab some buds. See your Mid-America Chevy dealer or log on to stlchevy.com. Dobbs Tire and Auto Centers, number one for quality tires and expert auto service. Save big money at Menards on all your home improvement needs. And by Steak and Shake. Steak and Shake, just no equal. <laughs> so here we go. <laughs> Hope the money's going that quick. Altuve looks at a strike and we're underway. It's just a brief two game set. Houston and St. Louis, longtime foes in the National League Central Division. They're trying to rebuild now in the American League. Quickly, no balls and two strikes. And it's always my experience when you have a team like the Astros, they have some talent here, but they're obviously in the rebuilding phase and it's going to take a few years. But if you can get on top of them, then they look forward to tomorrow. So get a lead and then keep on adding on. 
Two pitches, two strikes, the 0 2. Altuve shoots it foul out of play. He's hitting 283. Three home runs, 27 RBIs. Bo Porter, youngest manager in the game today. Former player in the big leagues, third base coach with Washington last year, and now knowing this is a rebuilding project, took the job with Houston. Curveball is hit to third. David Freeze steps, throws one away. The bids are already rolling in, and the bidding will close the seventh inning. Minimum bid increase of $100. Again, go to cardinals.com. And you can head to cardinals.com slash TV auction and you can make that bid happen. Also, give us a call at 345-9418. You'll see those descriptions on the website. Some great things to give away. Here's Brett Wallace who takes a ball inside. Wallace hitting 180, three home runs, nine RBIs. Astros have not been hitting, but this guy has as of late. Yeah, a lot better since they brought him back. It's hard to say that when your guy's batting 180 for the year, but it is very true the way he is swinging the bat right now. He's hit 270, 341 on base percentage, scored eight runs while collecting three doubles, a triple, three home runs, and nine RBIs in his last 11 games. Here's a 1 1 pitch. A's and Pirates at PNC Park tonight. They're in a rain delay. The Cardinals actually start play despite the fact they didn't play last night. Half game in front of Pittsburgh. That swung on and missed the cutter by Wayno. The Reds losing in dramatic fashion yesterday. Joey Votto thinks he has a home run. Carlos Gomez in Milwaukee goes back, pulls it back in in center field over the wall. That's how the game ends. Big breaking ball tap foul. Always fun when you have an off day and in the course of that day off when you enjoy yourself, then you come back and look at the paper and you're in first place. You say, well, things are going pretty well for us. But you got to keep on winning yourself. I just hope to have a little success right here and propel them right into the not only the all-star break, but the second half. Here's a 2-2 pitch. Just got a piece. Cardinals have some news to tell you about. Some of that happened within the last half hour. There's uh, Rob Johnson. Ty Wigginton was released earlier today. So the Cardinals will swallow the remaining numbers on those. Uh, uh, the contract, it was uh, five million two years for Wigginton, and Rob Johnson is called up. This is hit to short. Descalso makes the play. There's two away. Cardinals also, within the last half hour, it was announced, have traded Mitchell Boggs to the uh, Colorado Rockies, and they get the international signing slot number four. Now, I find that incredibly interesting. Is this is Castro, the uh, All-Star this year for Houston? More teams are doing that. You're not seeing the player to be named later. You're seeing the international slot. Yeah, and. and we need to study up on that. You got a better explanation what it is. It's the money really to sign an international player. Basically, that's what it is. Yeah. So, but you say that's valuable. Descalso is there. Another ground ball moves to his left, and Castro is the third and final out here at the top of the first. Cardinals coming up. Big crowd tonight. Glad you're with us here on Fox Sports Midwest.
things off. He's hitting 316. Then Carlos Beltran and Matt Holliday. The cleanup man is Alan Craig. What a season he's had. He's second in the National League in RBIs. Good to see Yadier Molina back in the lineup, leading the league and hitting at 346. Then it's David Fries, Daniel Descalso, John Jay, and the pitcher, Adam Wainwright. Astros defense brought to you by Dobbs. 68 errors this year for Houston. That's tied for the most in Major League Baseball. And the battery tonight, Bud Norris, a nemesis for the Cardinals for a number of years, along with Jason Castro behind the plate. Bud Norris, what is it about him, Al, that makes him so good? Well, the one thing about it is he made his Major League debut against the Cardinals, and then for a few years, he was Cy Young against the Redbirds. It seemed like then he was throwing 95. He elevated the ball, and a lot of hitters chased it. But it was also his slider that a lot of guys were just swinging at out of the strike zone, getting themselves out. But as you said, the worm has turned a little bit, and the Cardinals have had a lot of success against him. Not a lot, but they've had more success against him. He really does a good job. He'll go deep in this ball game. You expect him to go six plus innings, give his team a chance to win. So hopefully we can get him going right now. Look at his numbers too. This is now in the American League. They have an ERA just over three. That's impressive. Yes. And a team that, as we just showed you, does not catch and throw all that well. And yet he's nearly 500. Six and seven coming into play tonight. And Dan, just to give an idea, we've committed 38 errors. Astros 68. Strike two. Carpenter leads the club in multi-hit games. Also leads a league in that department as well as runs scored. Third in hits, seventh overall in average. Matt hasn't figured out things against Bud Norris. He's one for 12. In this lineup, really, Yadier Molina, a 2-11 hitter against him, 8 for 38, and and Matt have had the most trouble. Line drive, and that drops in for a base hit, and the Cardinal leadoff man is on. 107 hits and counting before the All-Star break for Matt Carpenter. Let's take a look at Chevy Fox tracks. Now 2 for 13, but you see this ball is down. It's a good pitch. Most standards, you would say that's a good pitch down the way, but Matt Carpenter having an exceptional year. He gets that leadoff hitter. Meltron, another all star. He's seven for 21 with five doubles against Bud Norris. Strike early. He is overall fifth in home runs with 19, 11th in RBIs. In the air out to left. Over to get it. Kraus makes the catch. Carpenter back to the bag at first, and there's one away. We saw the Cardinals really change how they went after Tony Fernandez in the start on Sunday, and the idea was swing early, and that seemed to work. You wonder if that'll be the same idea that they want to uh, approach Bud Norris with here today. Well, a lot of times, you know, you come up with that theory that pitchers first pitch they throw they want to get a hit strike so it may be the lollipop of the series but I think Bud Norris has a little more confidence in his change up and breaking ball. Here's Holiday put his name on the Albert Pujols tournament and was part of that yesterday the chairman of that tournament and raised a bunch of money for the Albert Pujols family foundation. And you were there, right? I was out there. How'd it go? Personally, it was fun. I had a good team. They carried me again. It was my it was my first golf outing since uh, my last surgery. So, and I survived. But look out! As much as I want to talk about you, Al, because it is all about you. Uh, Thank you. The event itself was a good one. I assume. it really was great. It, Albert no. was there. Albert was there. Mike Trout was there. No Shuck was there. A lot of the Jake Long. Bob Bishop from the Blues. Holiday with a high fly ball. Lifted out to deep left. Will it carry out of here? It's at the wall and goodbye. Holiday and the Cardinals go on top here in the first. 13th home run. Back to back games for Holiday as he takes some deep. 
two to nothing here in the first. That's the third home run he's hit off of Bud Norris. Like I said, early in his career, Norris really had the Cardinals number, but lately the Cardinals are getting pretty good wax at it. That is only the eighth home run that Norris has allowed this year, and Matt can hit him against anyone. Plaza tire service replay. He hung this breaking ball. And a big difference when it's hanging up like that. Down underneath it just had enough to hit the first row. Kraus. He thought about climbing up there, but came up empty. That was an 0-2 pitch. Mistake there by Bud Norris. You see the hit speed. And here is Alan Craig, third in the league now in hitting at 325. He's second overall in RBIs. He has 69, five back of Paul Goldschmidt of Arizona. Coming in, Holiday had two home runs against Norris. Same as Alan Craig. If we can go back to back. That was not a typical Matt Holiday home run. Usually those are just the line shots that carry out of the ballpark. That time, the high arcing home run. And it was the hanging pitch, so he got underneath it a little bit, hit it high in the air instead of a line drive that just carries out. We saw that on Sunday, put one onto the hill in center. Fastball this time on 0 and 2 and misses high and outside. One ball and two strikes on Craig. Cardinals have the league's leading hitter in Molina at 346. He's on deck. Second, Michael Kadire. And then third, Alan Craig at the plate. Good to see Yachty back in there. Some people might be a little bit surprised that Yachty is back. You can put me in that group. Well, and, uh, and I got a, a better explanation, not only from Mike Matheny, but also John Mosella. It was His knee problems is not really injury. It was just more of, you know, Mother Nature saying, hey, be cautious with it and you need a little more rest. It was just more from stress rather than injury. So they're going to be very careful with it. Center field and the catch is made by Barnes. And the reason Al I was a little bit surprised is Yachty will dig in is that because of that the stress that you put on the knee you think on paper it's Houston maybe give him a couple more days and maybe even the week with Chicago. I, I agree with you coming in that's exactly the way I thought. Cardinals played this weekend basically with just one catcher Yachty not available. And you talk about the Wigginton trade he was the emergency catcher but you really didn't want to use him. But John Mosellock said that Wigginton trade or, or release was in the works it was going to happen whether Yachty got hurt or not. It really gives you a chance to try to get Cruz some at bats and allow him to show more than just being a backup catcher too. Mike Matheny made that point there were several times he wanted to use Tony Cruz as a pinch hitter but felt he didn't have that luxury. Now he will have that luxury. He also said that Rob Johnson early in his career was a was a big prospect you know, an offensive player that you know maybe there'll be times that he will be used as a pinch hitter. He hasn't uh, hit all that well this year. And there'll be times because they're going to give more rest to Yachty to protect that knee, especially as it heats up and it's hot. But, you know, they're going to give him a little protection, and there will be times when Yachty will, he will be the right handed pinch hitter coming off the bench. Want to keep his bat in the lineup, and you also have the versatility of Molina to be able to play. First base. I'm sure we'd see that sometimes in the second half as well. You could do those things if you're carrying that third catcher. How long they'll do it, you don't know. Jammed him. Back to Norris. Bobbles it, then underhands it to first, and they get Molina. Matt Holiday, high, towering shot off his bat. An 0 2 mistake here by Bud Norris, and with that, a 2 1 lead for St. Louis.
Jack and Holiday, a two run shot. We head over to Auction Central. That's where we find Jim Hayes. And Jim, the first of our items up there at the top of that uh, list uh, behind you on your left is Mike Matheny's VIP experience. Yeah, and the current bid is $10,700. Keep in mind, it's all for Cardinals care. Let me tell you about the Mike Matheny VIP experience. You get a pregame meet and greet with the Cardinal skipper. You get to watch Mike Matheny's pregame meeting with the, uh, with the media. You get to discuss strategy and starting lineup with the Cardinal manager. You get to watch batting practice from a VIP area behind home plate, dinner for four at the Cardinals club, VIP parking, field box tickets. You get two rooms at the Hyatt. This is truly a once-in-a-lifetime experience, and again, it's for a worthy cause. Cardinal Care, the number, 314-345-9418. Dan, the current bid is 10700 bucks, guys. Well, Jim, let me ask you, can a uh, fan decide when they want to take Wainwright out of the game? You know, that's a great discussion to have with Mike Matheny. They've had that kind of discussion before. I think they should just leave it to those two, but I think suggestions are probably always welcome, Dan. All right. Thank you, Jim. And again, Cardinals.com slash TV auction 3459418. Here's J.D. Martinez reaching for it. Wainwright makes the play one away. Even Mike said after the previous start against the Angels, after he had a chance to kind of sit on it, think about it, review it, he said that was one that maybe you go back and, and look. It's it's a game of second guessing. Oh sure. I mean, that, and that's clear. But even those that make the decision, the ultimate decision, surely between the years they say, was it the right move? Should I have kept him in there? Do I bring in a lefty? All those things came into play in that inning. Remember what I say all the time: manager's decision is predicated on the outcome of the players, whether it's good or bad and different. And that makes it tough. That's one of the things you got to learn is make a decision and stand by it. Strike to Carlos Pena. Tight breaking ball there. Some though have a bigger leash than others, and you would think that Wainwright would have that leash. Now the innings are starting to pile up for Wainwright. He threw a ton of innings a year ago, coming off surgery, first year removed. And his current pace right now, he will throw more than any other pitcher since 2003. That's the pace that he's on right now. Yeah, but think about the fact, too. Yeah, he's coming off the surgery and, and he was ahead of schedule. Covering in just and pitching at 13 months post surgery. But he's 6'7, 235. It's not like he's, you know, 21 years of age trying to protect. Him. Shelby Miller, or Strasburg, or something like that. He knows his body and he takes great care of that body and really prepares between starts. First strike out of the night for Wainwright. He looks sharp tonight. Five up, five down. I mentioned his career numbers are unbelievable against Houston 12 and 1 and a 1.58 ERA. This is his first time facing that. And remember, last year he was 3 and 0 against Houston. So all he has to do is have the command that he normally possesses. And then he can be, you know, have these young guys eating out of the palm of his hand because he can throw any of his pitches for strikes. We hear the name of Bud Norris, and all of a sudden we think, uh oh. What do you think they're thinking when they hear Wainwright? I think it's a little bit, uh, yeah, <laughs> a little bit worse. Should mention that even if you just want to donate to Cardinals Care, you don't want to uh, purchase one of the experiences that is there for you. Any amount will be taken. Any amount. You just want to make a donation. Cardinals.com/tv auction. Also. Should remind folks for the Hall of Fame weekend, which has got the Ozzy bobblehead, Red Shandy's 1940s jersey, the Stand the Man statue. Between now and midnight, if you purchase a ticket, five dollars of that ticket will go to Cardinals Care. So everyone within the organization, fans included, getting in the act, and I know the players have donated an awful lot of their time as well. Number two, what Cardinals Care does in our community. 
an awful lot of work. All children charities are eligible for grants. So it's not just building the fields for our youth around the area to play baseball. There's every children's charity has, has received grants for many, many years, hundreds, millions of dollars now. And a rare walk by Adam Wainwright, two out walk to Mark Krause, the left fielder. And it brings in Brandon Barnes. Only his 14th walk. And he's over 135 innings now. Nearly $20 million has been raised by Cardinals Care, and it goes to helping children. That's the idea. Helping kids in our community. There's a look at those bids. Whitey Herzog experience need to get that going. Also head down to the TV truck with that. There's a fastball and a strike to Brandon Barnes. The guys in the truck will actually pay you. To come visit them. That is a unique experience seeing what happens in the truck. I think people would walk away amazed. We get on the air and just floored by everything that goes into putting a game together at the major league level. Twenty five people minimum. Ten cameras. Going to the count on Brandon Barnes, center fielders hitting 247. It's camera number four. That's Kenny, and I think we need to wake him up. Kenny's wake. No way. He's, he's ready. We got the best crew in town. Here's the 0 2. Really took something off that breaking ball at 76 miles an hour. Two strikeouts in the inning for Wayno. Hometown grocer. Go big at a Jack in the Box near you with Jack's new big snack burger. And by five hour energy shots. David Freeze, Daniel Descalso, and John Jay for the Cardinals here in the home half of the second. Cardinals will wrap up the first half with the first of four against Chicago. That'll be on the Thursday night, then the day games on Friday and Saturday, then Sunday night baseball. After that, the Cardinals have 30. That's it. 30 road games remaining. 
we've said all along it seemed like the first half we've been on the road. And you know they're going to play a lot better at home. There's a ground ball and a base hit into left center. David Freeze has the third cardinal hit. Maybe they are going to look for that first fastball and then take it up the middle. David Freeze now five for 16 off of Bud Norris. Daniel Descalso seen the majority of the playing time at shortstop this past week, and he has earned that time. Cosmo has been in a funk, and Daniel has swung the bat well. He's a 300 hitter when he starts. Dan, I think it's a combination of things. You know, remember, Cosmo did sit out three games, and Descalso played very well. Cosmo was 0 for 2 on Sunday, still has his little rut. I believe it's a over 19 now, but Daniel has good numbers against Bud Norris and, and Cosmic does not. Busy day here at the ballpark with the auction happening tonight. The trade of Mitchell Boggs to the Colorado Rockies, release of Ty Wigginton. I wonder how many scouts are taking a hard look at that man right there. And Bud Norris. Michael Gersh on the left, John Mosellock on the right. Michael is the uh, assistant GM who was found by John Mosellock as a guy that was doing a ton of research and analyzing businesses. He's very well educated, very bright guy. Wrote to Mo about some theories he had in baseball, and Mo said, I like these, and actually hired him. Daniel rips it into right field. Oh, it's misplayed and right by Martinez. Freeze on his way to third. And Descalso is in with a double and a gift. And Daniel hit that ball very well, but you're absolutely right. J.D. Martinez, he misplayed it. The tough line drive right at you. He almost, if you're at to the left or right of you, you can see. But here he made the fatal mistake, a couple steps in, then it gets over his head. Daniel, by the way, was six for 18 with a home run off of Bud Norris. And now he has a double and a good scoring opportunity for John Jay. So runners at second and third. Eighth place hitter is Jay, and then you have Wainwright. Ronnie Sedano comes in to talk to Bud Norris. Ronnie was in spring training with the Cardinals. Got released late in spring and picked up by by Houston who's gotten a lot of playing time. Going back to Mitchell Boggs Al I think it's just a situation where. Point blank wasn't going to happen here this year maybe ever just need to change the scenery. Yeah and, and I think you know John Mosellock was sympathetic to that. I mean he, we all like Mitchell Boggs. And sometimes a change of scenery is the best thing for his career. As you said, probably wasn't going to happen. Wouldn't be back with the club this year. It's hard to imagine that came to this point with Boggs after having statistically a historically great year for the Cardinals as a setup man. Yeah, you. Well, you also made the point earlier. At one year ago, at this time before the trade deadline, there's not one reliever. Currently in that bullpen that was here last year, and that's hard to imagine when you're talking about a team that was one game, one win away from the World Series. And Mitchell was a, a and huge he was part, a big of part of it. Jason Mott obviously was the closer. He's out with a Tommy John. Mitchell Boggs was the eighth inning man, set a franchise record, and led the National League in holds. Mahika didn't come until after the trade deadline, and he saved us last year and this year. Two balls and no strikes. And Boggs, through all his struggles, and there were some very tough games. The one that stands out for me, the game against Kansas City and Frank Gore, the home run, and then we had the long rain delay after he was trying to really come back and just reestablish himself, but always was available to talk afterwards, made himself available, took his medicine, so to speak, and did it with class. And 
I was around Mitchell on caravans last season's Cardinals Cruz and he was great with the fans so I wish him nothing but the best and if he's not injured there's nothing to think that uh, he can't get back right in the right situation and I'm sure that's what the Rockies are hoping for. Base is loaded. Let's check in with uh, Jim Hayes over at auction at Central Jimmy. What could be better than a, a private dinner with Hall of Famer Lou Brock the bid right now thirty six hundred dollars. We can do better than that. You get not only dinner with Lou you get chauffeur service in a car that was specially built for Lou Brock. You get dinner at Kimo's one of the finest restaurants in St. Louis that has the great view and you get two field box tickets current bid thirty six hundred dollars. We can do better the number three one four three four five nine four one eight Dan. Matter of fact, it is uh, Jim, the 1973 Blackhawk built specifically for Lou. That was Lou. That car was built uh, because that was the year that we thought that he was going to be the MVP. Strike one on Wainwright. Four field box seats, mutually agreed upon dates. Rather, two field box seats, mutually agreed upon date. Dinner with Lou Brock and his wife Jackie, all century player, Lou Brock. And of course, Key Moles, where my daughter, Nikki, is going to be married, and we'll have a reception up on the 40th floor. Presided over by Lou and Jackie Brock, both ordained ministers. Just trying so to get you that. know that is the finest restaurant in town. Wow. Trying to get that bill to come down a little, a little lower. Al, I'll Good be work. talking about Kimo's <laughs> for quite a while. <laughs> Here's the 0-2 pitch to Adam Wainwright with the bases loaded, nobody out. By the way, I don't blame you. <laughs> and you're going to be there too. You bet. The strikeout of Adam Wainwright. So the first man retired. Six is a serious number. Cardinals score six. You can score any size coffee, fountain, or frozen drink for just 50 cents the next day at On the Run. While you're there, be sure to stop by On the Way Cafe. Breakfast, biscuits, hot dogs, sandwiches, and more only at On the Run. Here's Carpenter. Hit a line drive into left center and scored on the two run homer by Matt Holliday in the first. Base is loaded and Carpenter has been sensational in this spot this year with the bases loaded. Just this year. Or in his career 667 with 20 RBIs with the bases loaded. And he hadn't had that many opportunities. He's still looking for his first slam. One ball and one strike. Big gap in right center field. One ball, one strike, and now one and two. Cincinnati and Milwaukee in the top of the third. There's no score. And be careful. You got to keep from chasing that ball that's up and out of the strike zone. After that pitch, Carpenter asking the home plate umpire if indeed it was a strike. It was not, said Mark Wegner. So he chased the ball one and two. Carpenter, little flare out to left, plenty deep for the runners to tag up. One at least. That's David Freeze to make it three to nothing. He scores and the RBI for Carpenter. That's number 38. In that situation, you got to get at least one, and Carpenter does a good job. Fed drives in his 38th run, and now did Norris hurt himself? Got the trainer running out 
along with the manager to check on Bud Norris. Brett Wallace, third baseman, came over. See if it's a lower leg or a back issue. See something there when he landed. Look at the sack fly and then watch when he comes through. And then he kind of jumps off that left ankle. Either way, Houston would never want to see him get hurt right now, whether they're looking to trade him or just keep him. What's it say about what? You think of your team number one and where it might be in two or three years if you trade away Bud Norris. I mean, he still could be a piece in two or three years on a contending club that could be a number two or a number three. It, it's a fine line. It, I think it, you know, you have to see what the value is for all your players, but as you said, he's young enough that maybe, you know, he becomes part of your team. And one of your real leaders is going to have to have some veterans down the road. Some games under 500, but as you said, they're you know, the team that is buried right now and rebuilding. He's only one game under 500 this year. Norris uh, should be out of this inning. It was a misplay in right off the bat of Daniel Descalso, led to a double. Now there's two outs and two on. And Beltron again on the first pitch. Just like in his first at bat, hits it out of play. He's now an eight time All Star. All Star back in 2004, his first time, and again here in 2013. On the Silver Slugger twice. Gold Glover three times. What a career it's been for Carlos Beltron. Had his 28th birthday in March, so you could. You, they're basically on a five-year plan, right? Year two of a five-year plan, so still wouldn't be so bad. Missouri Lottery with that nasty pitch. Saw a lot of right-handed batters years past swing at that breaking ball down the way, but there he even gets an eight-time All-Star, Carlos Beltran, to swing over the top. Of Notice that he's running a lot better at an outstanding play in right field in the ninth inning on Sunday. Also, stole home. On the outside corner, 95 and painting the black. Nasty pitch again. Second strikeout for Bud Norris.
we want to tell you about the third package. We are auctioning it off to uh, benefit Cardinal, or Cardinal Care. It's a catch with Shelby Miller. This is for four people, including someone 15 and under, that will actually get to have a catch with a young rising star, Shelby Miller, on the field. It also includes four autographed baseball, a personalized clubhouse tour with Shelby, and four field boxes, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, all to benefit Cardinal Care. The number 345-9418, area code 345-9418. The bid currently $2,600. Dan, we can do better than that, I think. Oh, yeah, and it will before the night is through. And again, the website, cardinals.com slash TV auction, and the number, 314-345-9418. And even if you cannot bid on one of those experiences, we invite you to make uh, a donation. Any size, greatly appreciated. Shelby Miller donating that uh, catch All to help out Cardinals care. Here's Ronnie Cedeno. We thought he might be the everyday shortstop for the Cardinals. Released for Kyle Dunn for the year. And so now it's Cosma, Descalso, and Ryan Jackson, who's actually put up some pretty good numbers down at AAA. Yeah, Ronnie just never got on track in spring training, and I think the Cardinals decided they had better options. You'd have to say that they made the wise decision. Two and two the count. Only base runner was Mark Kraus back of the second inning. That was a, a walk with two outs by Wainwright. The 2 2 pitch swung on and missed and a strikeout of Cedeno. Third strikeout for Adam Wainwright. By the way, Lou Brock is texted in and he said the car. It's a Stutz Bearcat. That uh, the folks will be taking in is the car of his 3,000th hit and also the night he stole his 105 for Lou Brock. Wanted fans to know that. So uh, he drove that car the night of hit number 3,000. Also, famous stolen base of 105. So you'll be driving in history, if you will. I mean, history just being with Lou. You got it, Al. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Cutter misses outside. One ball, one strike. You know, Dan, I was a nice mama's boy, and I met Lou, and Gibby, and Shannon. Remember Carver. now, Reverend uh, Jackie is probably listening and watching too, Al. Tori. Let's get some different names. Deep in the hole. Long throw. And. Safe. And again, Norris is limping. So the first base hit off the bat of the pitcher, Bud Norris. And Daniel Scalzo, when he went to plant, he slipped at the edge of the grass, and that's why the throw was a little offline. And I'm sure Norris, for the second time, the trainer's attending to him. Dave Clark, first base coach, is probably saying, you know, is it worth it? But see, watch it went to set. His feet slipped a little bit. That forces the low throw. Allen couldn't hold on. And then once again, it's that left ankle. This time as he turned the right one. But look, he's limping on the left one. See it here. Watch him put that left ankle down, and then he grabs it. Lifts it up. Anyway, I met all those great teammates. They corrupted me, and I've been thanking them ever since. I bet. So one out infield hit for Bud Norris. I don't know, Al. You're Houston two. Astros, <laughs> and you're 32 and 57, and. Pretty important guy standing at first base. If he's limping around, you're not going anywhere. I'm not sure you really want to push it. Well, it's the same token, you know, if a guy says he wants to stay out there, wants to have yep. that football mentality. Well, Porter knows about that. He was a pretty good football player at Iowa. Former defensive back. Right. In the Rose Bowl team. Tough to turn two. Slowly hit out there, and Altuve gets down the line.
Cardinals care auction. Three four five nine four one eight. Minimum bid increase on these auction items is one hundred. And again, head to the website cardinals.com. You'll see them there as well. Private dinner with Lou up to four thousand. How about the Mike Matheny VIP experience? Over twelve thousand there. Edmonds VIP experience. Whitey and Ultimate Game Day. We need to get those going. With Whitey Herzog for five innings. You will have the time of your life. Here's Brett Wallace. Breaking ball and a strike. Norris, when he left the field, straight down the tunnel, it looked like. Yes, sir. Right, the trainer turned to go down. Wallace grounded out to short, first time up. Think about Brett Wallace, former number one draft pick of the Cardinals. Guys have been in the minor league system. Had a nice conversation with El Presidente, Dennis Martinez, who's in the Astros bullpen. He's their bullpen coach, but he's been a pitching coach in the Cardinals system, and he's very proud of all those young relievers that are doing such a good job. In the Cardinals pen. See Dennis there kicking on at the mound. What a pitcher he was. That's uh, Lucas Harrell, who we saw as a starter against St. Louis in the previous series, and none too pleased. He said he was shocked about being put in the Houston bullpen. El Presidente. Very few have done it. He's one of them. Perfection. Perfect game against the Dodgers while pitching with Montreal. One ball and two strikes on Wallace. Runner at first is Jose Altuve. Broken bat, and that rolls foul. Broken bat gives us a chance to take a look at our Twitter poll. Again, if you go online and vote for the AT&T Twitter poll that we have in our telecast, this does not include a vote for the actual final All-Star. You've got Ian Desmond, Freddie Freeman, Gonzalez, Pence, and Puig. May surprise some, but leading the way, Freddie Freeman. Puig is a very popular player in some circles, but Freddie Freeman had an outstanding year and right now leads in that vote. Here's a one two pitch to Wallace. Hayes and Pirates now playing in Pittsburgh and there's no score. That's in the second inning. We'll keep an eye on that. This final note on. Dennis Martinez, 23 year playing career, 245 wins. Ranked uh, Major League history. Strikeout of Wallace. Midway through three. Home run hitter Holiday due up when we come back.
days at Auction Central with an update on our fourth item, the Jim Edmonds and Fox Sports VIP experience. This gives you exclusive access with Jim Edmonds. You can go on set on our pregame show on Fox Sports Midwest with Jimmy Ballgame. You get to watch BP with me and see how I don't really do anything that, be, that can be considered work. You get a private room that includes your food and your beverages, and Jim Edmonds will actually stop by and hang out with you for a couple of innings. And you get two rooms at Hotel Lumiere. That's in a once-in-a-lifetime package, all for Cardinal Care. The number, 314-345-9418. The current bid for that, $4,600. Dan, we're looking to go higher. All right. Thank you, Jim. It's holiday. He'll lead it off for the Cardinals. Two-run homer back in the first on an 0-2 mistake by Bud Norris. Hung a breaking ball, and that made it 2 to nothing. Cardinals add an RBI from Carpenter. Adds up to a three-run lead for St. Louis. Bud Norris back out there, sore leg and all. I always worry about somebody, a pitcher, you know, with a lower leg problem. You alter your mechanics, you land on it funny, and you end up hurting your arm. First pitch is popped up on the infield. Brett Wallace went away. Remember, Wallace has been moved around in his career. DH, first baseman, but now getting a chance to play a little third base for Houston. Missouri Lottery are Fox tracks as he popped it up. Actually, supposed to be a pitch away from Holiday, but a very effective pitch in on his hands. There's Alan Craig lined out to center. Cardinals Care has donated about $20 million to kids since its inception back in 1997. Idea at that time was that the team, front office, players, Along with the fans, all would come together, try to raise money for kids, and they have done that. I've been on some of the excursions to Joplin, and they've written big checks to help out the kids there, rebuilding Joplin. They did that again earlier this year after the tornadoes had ripped through Oklahoma, and much of that money clearly stays within the, uh, the St. Louis area. But they have Redbird rookies. It's helping out 5,000 kids play baseball, but it's also culture, arts, and screenings, health screenings, various things that uh, kids just wouldn't have a chance to do. I think it's also, if you are a children's charity, you can apply for a grant from, That's correct. from Cardinals Care, and they've you know, given away hundreds of thousands of dollars yearly on that. And as you said, raised over $20 million now. Winter warm-up is the biggest fundraiser, but it's little things like this. They've got golf tournaments and this special night. Many of the signings that they have throughout the ballpark. All that going into Cardinals care. One two pitch as Craig hits it out of play. Michael Hall has been the uh, longtime VP. Cardinals care and. One of the things that they do as well, about 50,000 complimentary tickets to children's charities throughout the season as well. One out, nobody on. Here's a one two pitch, and that's driven into left center field. A base hit for Alan Craig, and he's one for two. Krispy Kreme doesn't deal. Cardinals get nine hits tonight. You're invited into Krispy Kreme tomorrow. Receive it a dozen of their original glazed donuts for only $3.99. Stop by one of the four St. Louis area Krispy Kremes for this sensational deal. You believe in history repeating itself, don't you? Absolutely. Let's see if on this date in St. Louis history, 2010, Adam Wainwright, he threw just eight shut out innings to win eight nothing against the Astros and Bud Norris. Kyle McClellan got the, the final inning of that shutout combined shutout since released by uh, Texas has he? That's what was my next question. How's he doing? Berkman. Uh, DL? Some, yeah, he's in some serious pain right now with his knee and his back. No 
Don't get old, Dan. I'm edging. <laughs> Closer by the day. Hey, we have a big Cardinal fan watching tonight. 15 year old Emily Lineman from Wentzville, Missouri. We understand you're having a pretty rough day. And I know it's been a very painful long road to come down here to the ballpark and various surgeries. So we hope you heal quickly and make sure and say hello to Al and I in the booth next time you're here. That's Emily Lineman, and I know she's watching right now as we speak. So best wishes to you. 0-1 pitch to Yachty. One ball, one strike on Molina. Jammed his first time up. Tapped it back to Bud Norris. Runner goes. Hit and run was on. Tapped foul. Two strikes on Yachty. There are good friend Cindy Buchanan from American Airlines. What a, what a, what a daughter-in-law she is. He says, on our way to the game tonight, we stopped at St. John's Mercy Hospital to see my mother-in-law, who just had back surgery. So she wants a shout out for her mother in law, Jackie Buchanan. But of course, Cindy came to the ball game. But Jackie, I know where, how you feel. Hope you feel better and you will quite shortly. That is ripped and backhanded by Wallace. Out at second. And the casual turn, Altuve to first. Brett Wallace. Terrific play and he takes an extra base hit away from Yadier Molina. The backhand here Altuve. Eh, no big deal. Turn in two. Three nothing after three. Bargain on the board right now is our Whitey Herzog and TV broadcast experience, just $2,900. Imagine this August 6th, Cardinals play the Dodgers. You get a private room to watch the game, and Whitey Herzog will be in there with you for five innings. In addition, you'll spend two innings with our broadcast crew, and you'll get to go downstairs and visit the complex world of our broadcast truck. In addition, you get a couple of rooms at the Hyatt. The Whitey Herzog and TV broadcast experience bid currently $2,900. A number to call 345 9418. Whitey Herzog wants you to do better on that, Dan. Pedro Alvarez, thank you, Jim. A solo home run for Pittsburgh. They're in the bottom of the second, one to nothing. The Pirates lead the A's. 
Here's Jason Castro. It's Castro, Martinez, and Pena. Cardinals leading 3 0. Auction open up until the seventh inning. That breaking ball lifted down the left field line and out of play. Nothing in two. Castro 0 for 2. To, um, excuse me, 0 for 1. Hopefully 0 for 2 off the Wainwright, but he is. Came in five for twelve. You know who in this lineup who has the highest average against Wainwright? Bud Norris. And he's got a hit tonight. He's three for six. Uh, yeah, three for six against him. Waving at that pitch and blocked by Yachty. Strikeout number five for Adam Wainwright. I believe every strikeout. It's uh, come on that breaking ball, shorter high speed pitch. And Norris has hit 96. Wainwright, it's not the Wayne will remember at 95, 96, but it seems like he's better with age. Oh, he definitely. You know, we talked about in our Toyota keys of the game that Adam go out there if he has command of his pitches, then he has these guys guessing. As he can throw any one of his pitches for strikes. You got young hitters that are going to be overly aggressive, so they'll be very vulnerable to the cutter, the, the curveball. They can look curveball and get, get throw the fastball by them. Maybe even some changeups. There's a curveball in there for a strike. Now 0 2, they're they're going. What do I do? O2 pitch to Martinez. Grounded back to Wainwright first time up. 72 mile an hour curveball. Then he throws that 88 mile an hour cutter. Just always changing speeds. A little bit low and also changing his delivery towards the plate. Yeah, you know, he one time he'll take his hands completely over his head. Another time he'll just hold it at the waist, other times at the chest. Move around on the rubber, everything to give a different look. Martinez is getting a chance to play. Remember, Justin Maxwell hit his face on the turf, diving for a ball against St. Louis. Actually, suffered a concussion. And the new rule, and I say it's new, it's about a year and a half in existence, is now the seven day DL concerning concussions. Yeah, he, he went out on a rehab assignment now. I think it was. Injured, came back one time, and then the the effects of the concussion came back, and so they put on on that seven day DL. Curveball and yep. goodbye. The two two pitch. Strikeout number six for Wainwright. Hyundai replay, and it's a look at this breaking ball from Adam Wainwright. Twelve to six. That ball just comes up and drops down. There's Carlos Pena. Wonder what teams might be looking for some power potentially off their bench. This guy could provide it. Former 40 home run man. Very good years with Tampa Bay. Two outs, nobody on. A fly ball, shallow left center, and that drops in for a hit. Two out base hit for Pena. Just the second hit tonight for Houston. Power potential, but only eight this year, and never ever really hit for a high average. One thing he didn't make a lot of money. Mark Kraus walked his first time up. Cardinals add Rob Johnson, Mitchell Boggs, Ty Wakington. Both were on the 40 man roster, so Cardinals, I, I believe they're still under that 40 man limit. It's at 38. Yeah, I think I thought prior to 
the box trade they were at 39 so I think you're right. One ball one strike. Wainwright has been sharp tonight. Cardinals receive a little bit over 200 grand in slot money for that Rockies trade. And they have about 1.2 to 1.3 million left to spend on the uh, international market. Curveball in there for a beauty. Woo. One and two. See these young hitters just frozen. Can't even swing the bat. Guessing, guessing wrong. Already foot comes down to commit, but then the ball still hasn't gotten to the home plate. And that's wave dead and a strikeout. Number seven strikes out the side here in the fourth. Auction update. The bid for the ultimate game day experience currently $3,100. This includes an exclusive behind the scenes tour of Bush Stadium for one person, 15 and under, part of a group of four. You can be a member of the grounds crew, be a part of Team Fredbert, actually get to shoot one of those t shirts into the stands, do the PA announcing for a half inning. It includes dinner for four at the Cardinals Club, VIP parking for one and four. Field box tickets. That's for Saturday, September 7th. Again, the current bid is $3,100. A number to call 345 9418 314 345 9418. We're looking to get the numbers higher, Dan. Okay, thank you, Jim. Seven strikeouts for Adam Wainwright. And again, if uh, son or daughter, grandson, granddaughter, what a great way to take them to the game and an experience they'll never forget. Hey, we could do that. We could be on. Billy Finley's crew will take the hose. You got it. <laughs> There's a base hit into right. David Freeze is two for two with a run score. And again, the uh, Hall of Fame weekend. Cardinals want to make sure you know between now and midnight, if you're thinking about coming. There's a look at our Hyundai replay. That base hit to right, they were playing well off the line. If you're thinking about that Hall of Fame weekend against the Padres, that's got the Ozzy bobblehead, Shane Deese jersey, Stan the Man, replica statue. $5 towards every ticket sold tonight for that weekend goes to Cardinals Care. So if you're going to do it, why not do it tonight? Raise a lot of money. Double into right, first time up for Daniel Descalso. I give Norris some credit here for sticking in this game. You like to see it. Not everybody would stick through pain on a yeah, team that's not going anywhere. I mean, that's 
fine line between common sense and stupidity, but it's getting ahead of hitters. You don't want to be out there if you're have the you know hurt to the point where you risk injury. That's driven again off the bat of Descalso in the right center. One hops off the wall. David Freeze held up, and Descalso has himself another double, and he's two for two tonight. You mentioned Daniel is now eight for twenty off of Bud Norris, including the home run. But here are a pair of doubles and into the right field over the right fielder's head as he misplayed it. This one into right center and one hop in the wall. David Freeze, second consecutive day, ends up on third base after a Descalzo double. And it's a good thing they didn't throw to third base. John Jay walked his first time up. Identical to what we uh, saw in the second inning. Single, double. Now Jay. Little bouncer left side Wallace fires to the plate and out. It's another good play by Brett Wallace and one of his biggest advocates playing third base. Cardinals minor league system Jeff Luno. I remember he was a third baseman out of Arizona State. Triple crown winner two times there. And here he gets his ball here he takes a chance going home. And you can see. And it does short hop. Nice play by the catcher, Castro, but did the foot get there? The throw beat him. And probably the tag a little late. I'm not sure if it, but no complaints on that one when it's a bang bang play. Runners at first and second. Here's Wainwright, struck out his first time up. Now Jose Okendo comes down the line to talk to Wayno. I know such a good hitter. Oh, and I don't want to sacrifice. Right. You swing away. Again, that number 314-345-9418. Or Cardinalscare.com slash TV auction. Look at the items being auctioned off tonight. Any donation, greatly appreciated. Wainwright gets the bunt down. And the only play. Good Altuve at first base. Runners advance. Sacrifice 2 4 on the play. His fifth sacrifice of the year. Just perfect. He's so fundamentally sound. Knows how to help his own cause by advancing both runners. Is dead in the ball. Put it right outside there in the grass. They can't throw out the front lead runners. And Adam, you know, you see the good form, the knees flexed. Stabbed that a little bit, but he's such a good athlete. He had it under control. Deadened it perfectly. Now it's Carpenter, 367 with runners in scoring position. Single tonight. Also a sack fly to left with the bases loaded back in the second inning. Cardinals have been so good all season. Driving in runners with two outs. And they're in scoring position. Carpenter one of those. 324 with two outs and a runner in scoring position. That's bold foul. Nothing in two. Tonight on 0-2 pitches, 
burned Bud Smith. And that's three RBIs on the night for Carpenter. Had the sack fly last time up, his second hit, another multi hit for Matt Carpenter. His RBI totals up to 70. And remember, Adam Wainwright helped his own cause, sacrificing both runners into scoring position. Matt Carpenter does the rest. How did Pena miss this? It just went over his glove or right underneath his glove. It was it was down the line. It wasn't that easy of a play. He's probably wondering the same thing. How did he miss it? Almost like the balls that you see sometimes go back to the pitcher and it looks like a changeup coming back at you. You know, it sometimes does do that. You know, you think it's hit harder and you you react and you miss. Or you think the ball is going to be because you think it's hit harder. It was effectively placed. You bet. Two more RBIs as you mentioned now. So up to 40 for Carpenter. Big night for him. Two hits. His 35th multi hit game. Number one in the National League in that category. Beltran is open to. Field is deep, playing the pole. There's a 1 1 pitch. Astros have seen sparse crowds, even with their transition to the American League, and again tonight, amazingly, Tuesday night against Houston, and we're going to have over 40,000, well over 40,000 tonight. Can imagine how these excited young Astros players are. I'll guarantee you the Cardinal players never take it for granted. They notice it every day when those stands are filled and feed off the energy. But a young team like the Astros do too. Come in here and Young players learn real quick what it's all about the St. Louis experience. Two two pitch. Beltron spoils it. I always said Dan that you know the Cardinals are the greatest. You know they're one of the best uh, drawing cards for free agency. You know, visiting players come in here and they see the atmosphere they see how the players are. Loved and, and you know a, a media friendly town. It went into part of the plan of trading for Mark McGuire was if we get him because we him. know him, we get him in this atmosphere, we think he'll stay. Yeah, and the same thing I think was Holiday. The 2-2. Two -two. Well, Lance Berkman and Carlos Beltran are two prime examples of guys. They're looking to rejuvenate maybe their sure. career a little bit. Jump Absolutely. started. Absolutely. Carlos, I know he's looking. Statistically, he's had his first half this year a little less than last year, but still great. Can't complain at all. But he's hoping to have a little more consistency in the second half. I think you would agree too. I, I've got no problem seeing Carlos sit sometimes to keep him. Even more fresh down the stretch. Now, people would say, "Well, wait a minute, Dan. Look at the playoffs. He's pretty darn good. I'll give you that." But, but he, you want to be fresh yeah. when you hit the playoffs. And Mike Matheny, he knows too, and he's got great co communicative skills with these these players too. That they're going to rest some. Beltran, a broken bat, single in the right, hit it off the end of the bat, and it's six to nothing, St. Louis. He drives in his 52nd of the year. That moves him into the top 10 RBIs of the National League. Two more runs scored for Matt Carpenter tonight. He's now up to 68, all alone atop that category. A little breaking ball this time expands his zone and goes outside the strike zone. 
but it was a hanger up there, so he was able to get it, hit it off the end of the bat, and he drives in another run. Carter already scored two runs. So 68 for Matt Carpenter this year, alone atop the National League. Beltron moving into the top 10 of RBIs, and they just get up right now to start to throw. And that's in the uh, Houston bullpen. Yeah, there's somebody getting up there, and he started throwing yet. So Doug Brokale, the pitching coach up there. That's the first time I could think of seeing a telephone. As Dennis Martinez is on the telephone. Remember, we talked about that as maybe the bullpen phone's not working. And they have made that rule that you could have some telecommunication out there. They carry uh, three lefties and five right handers in their Fresh pen. fields. Yep. Matt Holiday got it all started. Two run homer on an 0 2 pitch back in the first. He's also popped out to third. What would be the legacy of Tony La Russa if the Cardinals do not win? 2011 phone gate <laughs> and the way that game six unfolded he had a pitcher up there that shouldn't be in that spot at that time and if not for the dramatics of David freeze Texas wins it and many would question how that all unfolded for St. Louis and rightfully so oh yeah. A lot of different theories, what happened, and everything, but it was best leave it alone. Oh, the legacy now is two <laughs> world titles. That's right. How you got there? So what? Future Hall there. of Famer. Join Sparky Anderson as the only two managers that have won a World Series in each league. Two balls and one strike. Holiday one for two tonight with that home run. Six runs allowed at career high against St. Louis for Bud Norris. We still have not really seen Holiday go on a typical Matt Holiday tip. Well, and I think we will, though. You know, his wife is expecting another child, and that may happen over the All Star break. These guys are human beings. You wonder if that's in the back of his mind a little bit, and just a chance now not going to the All Star game to get away from this, relax. This is the first time as as a Cardinal that he's not going to the All Star game. But Leslie, I believe, is due. She told me yesterday. I think in, in a couple weeks. The 2 2 pitch holiday pulls it foul. Cardinals picked him up in 2009. I mean it was a tear that he went on. Everything he hit was hit hard and unfortunately it ended. That rough series against Los Angeles but. He showed everybody what. Might be coming in particular offensively and he is not disappointed. This year it's been a tough year for him at times. But his history is that he's going to hit. 13 home runs 45 RBIs. And he strikes out here. But it's another big inning for the Cardinals. They pick up three more and they lead it six to nothing with Wayno on the mound.
in St. Louis. A warm, muggy night. Glad you're with us on Fox Sports Midwest. The Cardinals leading Houston with a score of six to nothing. What's on tap? We'll highlight Jose Altuve. Good numbers against St. Louis in his career. We'll come your way at 6:30 as we wrap up the homestand. Shelby Miller, nine and six. And Jordan Lyles, four and three for Houston. Again on the air tomorrow, 6:30, on your home of the Cardinals, Fox Sports Midwest. Wainwright struck out the side, back in the fourth, and already tonight he has struck out seven. All seven strikeouts. The final pitch of those K's have been on curveballs. Such a signature pitch for him, but remember he's got such a nasty cutter. There's the cutter there. There's a ground ball. Diving stop by Craig. Flips to Wainwright. What a play from the All Star. One All Star to another. Craig to Wainwright. Our all star on Fox Sports Midwest, undoubtedly, Jim Hayes. And he is over at uh, the Cardinals Care hubbub over there, Jim. I know there's some excitement going on. About $40,000 has been raised. Not bad. You notice, though, the Mike Matheny VIP experience, the bid is stuck at $12,100. This is a once in a lifetime experience for four people. You'll get a pregame meet and greet with Mike in his office. You watch him address the media before the game. Discuss strategy and starting lineups with Mike Matheny. Dan says, make a suggestion if you want to. You watch batting practice from a VIP area. You get dinner for four at the Cardinals Club, VIP parking, four field box tickets, and a one night stay at the Hyatt. Two rooms. It's for a mutually agreeable date. Dan, it's all to benefit Cardinals Care. Great experience, Dan, and a great cause. All right. Thank you, Jim. We appreciate that again around uh, forty thousand dollars raised all going to Cardinals care. I'm surprised uh, some of the ladies haven't stepped up to try to bid on that experience. I see Cindy M is is all over Whitey Herzog. He's been bidding on him two or three times. Mary Lou will be upset but. She'll get over it for Cardinals care. Now well, certain things you just need to draw the line on. That would be one of them. So they work on Cedeno here. Found that ball off his foot. <laughs> like I've said numerous times, Al, come to the ballpark, never know what you may see. Work with you, never know what you may hear. It's always an experience, Matt Ungarian. Yeah, you know, we do those functions for the Cardinals, and then Matheny gets up and speaks. And I mean all the ladies they've got the, the cell phones out the cameras the pictures. Then Mo came up one time I said what's that say about us. They all sat down went got something to eat. No pictures being taken. That experience you're, you're down in his office you're, you're watching him interact with the media BP. And you're helping kids. Helping kids. Her ball and a chopper towards short to Scalso. Two away. Try the new egg white delight McMuffin. Only 250 calories and only at McDonald's. We have that big weekend coming up with the Padres after the All Star break. That's the Hall of Fame weekend. Ozzy Bobblehead. Red Shandy's jersey giveaway as Cedeno is limping off the field. Also, the Stand the Man statue. Great numbers there for Adam. If you buy a ticket for that game, $5 of every ticket sold from here until midnight. This time until midnight, $5 every ticket sold will go to Cardinals Care. So, if you're thinking about coming in, taking part in that weekend, why not get a ticket right now and do that? Adam, very efficient. Or two hits, a walk, and seven strikeouts. 67 pitches. The first hit of the night, Bud Norris infield hit. And he beat it out. That was between the uh, shortstop. 
third baseman Descalso eventually came up with it long throw slipped on it and Norris not running well but still beat it out 2 1 pitch. Now it's 2 and 2. Kevin. You got a bad ankle and now you foul one off it. Things are going good aren't they. Hurt on the outside of the ankle, not on the inside. Now both now it's pain is even. There's a liner into right, and the catch is made. Beltron positioned perfectly. It's another one, two, three inning. Taking a look at the three outs for Adam Wainwright. This diving stop by Alan Craig. On the backhand and the flip to Waino. Ronnie Cedeno. A couple of hops to short. Descalso made that play. Beltron positioned perfectly on this liner to right. Bueno and the Cardinals cruising here in game one. Six to nothing. The question: How much would you pay to have a private dinner with Hall of Famer Lou Brock? Right now, the bid stands at five thousand dollars. Here's what you get: You get a pregame dinner for two with Lou Brock and his wife Jackie at Kimo's Restaurant. Kimo's is one of the finest restaurants in all of St. Louis. You get a view of St. Louis that you can't get anywhere else. You get a private chauffeur service to Kimo's and to Bush Stadium in a car specifically built for Lou Brock. You get two field box tickets and it's on a mutually agreeable date. But time is starting to run out. The auction ends in the bottom of the seventh inning. At the end of the seventh inning, this thing is over. And Al, I'm not sure you said that that car that uh, will be chauffeured that was built for Lou is what a Stutz Bearcat. Is that right? Al? Stutz. Stutz Bearcat. Stutz Bearcat. Yep. 73. When who said it was drove that car and his 3,000 hit and also the 90 stole 105 bases. Alan Craig pops out foul territory to Pena. There's a new shortstop. Ronnie Cedeno is out and uh, Jake Elmore takes over at short. Significance of 105 was that broke the. Major League record of 104 by Moore Wills at that time. Famous call of Jack Buck, 105 for Lou Brock. You know the amazing thing about his calls, Al. They're as good now as they were then. Oh yeah. But never lost sight of the game, even oh, yeah. with the uh, individual milestone happening. He was at his best when he was off the cuff. That's taken inside. 
wonder with a big lead like this, six runs, Wainwright pretty much cruising in this game. He's given up just uh, two hits. In Mike Matheny's mind, how long do you go with Adam? How long do you go with Yachty? He's back in the lineup tonight. Maybe you give Johnson a little playing time and get his feet wet. Well, you could do that now that you're carrying three catchers. And once again, you know, the, the scare that everyone had was Friday night where Yachty for the first time this this year he had been bothering him but first time it affected him running. And you see the newest Cardinal Rob Johnson we brought up today from Memphis as Ty Wigginton was designated for assignment. And Molina hit by the pitch. No activity right now in the Houston bullpen. We did see that last inning, and Molina is aboard for the first time tonight. Right there on the usual patch. So Yachty hit by the pitch. And it brings in third baseman David Freeze. First pitch back in the second, lined it into center field. And then hit a line drive to right, playing well off the line. It was Carlos Pena, scooted that by him, and picked up his second hit of the night. Again, the auction closes bottom of the seventh. And a lot of folks have tweeted at me saying, well, these. Experiences are getting a little too expensive for me. Sorry, I'd like to help. Well, you still can. You can still donate any amount of money, any amount. And our operators are standing by this number 314 345 9418. 345 9418. Cardinals.com slash TV auction. And again, it's gone to the assistance of those in Oklahoma, Joplin, kids in this area. We've seen that. Money go to work firsthand. It's been extremely generous of the Cardinals and the fan base and what they've done coming together. Resume play in Pittsburgh. They had a rain delay where the A's are batting in the fifth, leading the Pirates two to one. Brandon Moss to run Homer in the top of the fourth. We start them young here, Al. Why not? Straight from the hospital to your seat here at the ballpark. Very hot muggy night here at the ballpark. Glad you're with us. Here's the 0 2 pitch. Freeze. A rope into center field for a base hit. Three for three. David Freeze tonight. Update the bids again. This will last until the bottom of the seventh. And in particular, the Jim Edmonds VIP experience. The play catch with Shelby, also the ultimate game day experience. Son or daughter, grandson, granddaughter, what a neat experience you could have for them. Memories of a lifetime. PA announcer, part of the grounds crew, Team Fredbird, all in one day. I mean, just a chance to shadow Jim Hayes, my goodness. Oh, priceless. Wow. And we'll mix in Jim Edmonds with that. And Pat Paris. Yeah. Who knows, you might be on that game over there too. Okay, it's not priceless anymore. <laughs> Here is uh, Scalso. Two for two with a pair of doubles. Mentioned Moss has that home run for Oakland. 
Pedro Alvarez home run for the Pirates now 23. Most by a Pirates player before the All Star break since Willie Stargell back in 1973. When we were last in Pittsburgh it was cold bad weather we had the rain out. And we're both thinking at what point are they going to send down Pedro Alvarez again. He looked awful. But now he looks terrific again. Yeah, it's just. You know they knew that he was going to walk into some home runs but didn't think he'd ever hit for a great average but. That average has to be creeping up now it's be respectable with all the home runs are sitting and as frequent as he's hitting home runs. I don't think he was asked by David Wright the captain. The National League home run derby team to participate. Glenn Hurdle. Said well we're going to see the Mets right before the break. Our fans can let David Wright know all about that. Might be doing him a favor. As. I think the Cardinals are very relieved that Carlos Beltran is not part of the home run derby. Not, not a lot of good things happen. You know, going out there trying to hit home runs, wearing yourself out, mess up your swing, your timing. And I think Jim Edmonds even hurt his shoulder in that home run derby. Lucas Harrell. Talked about him earlier. He's warming up from Springfield, Missouri. Runners at first and second. One ball, then two strikes with one out. Two two. Daniel gets a piece. Should be interesting later tonight. Dodgers Diamondbacks hooking up for the first time since that nasty series they had at Dodger Stadium. As Daniel pops that foul out of play. All the fines and suspensions that they had, punches thrown. Kind of be stupid though to start something with all eyes of baseball on you. The 2 2. Yachty's got that look like he wants to run. And I think Jason Castro picked up on that. Yachty was about a third of the way to third base, and Bud Norris wasn't even paying attention to him. Castro throwing out about 21% of runners this year, and Yachty sometimes picks his spot. We've seen him steal third base when it Middle infielders aren't paying attention to him, or and the and the pitcher not paying attention to him, not bearing his look. So the two-two pitch, John Jay on deck. Saw where Ryan Wilson. Is going to audition for major clubs on August the first. Right, find out if there are any suitors for the former giant closer. Three two. Strike out of the Scalso. Took something off that pitch. And that's strikeout number four for Bud Norris. Up in the 
strike zone. Stiles might have had a better swing at it, but over the top, fourth strikeout for Bud Norris. He has allowed 10 hits and six earned runs. The two outs here is Jay. He has walked. And then it took a very good play by Brett Wallace to his left. Throughout the runner trying to score, that was David Freeze back in the fourth. The Cardinals tonight, four runs have scored with two outs. Four runs have scored. A base hits with an 0 2 count. Time Wallace couldn't come up with it. Yachty being waved in, the throw to the plate, not in time. Seven to nothing, St. Louis. John Jay drives in his 37th. Wallace was playing pretty far off the line, took a hit last time up to his left, and this time Jay shoots it past him on the other side. Hit too hard, no chance for Fred Wallace. Adam Wainwright helped his own cause with a sacrifice that went 2 4 back in the fourth with a couple of runners in scoring position, and he's also struck out. Cardinals with a seven run lead. I'm not sure how well Yachty was running there from second base. Let's take a look. I think he's fine right here, and I think he thought that he was going to score easily. And running hard, as I guess he's going to with that knee. If we were both surprised that he was in the lineup, but they feel he's not, they're not going to do any damage. They're going to monitor. His activity with the, the heat. One ball and two strikes. Two runners on and a one two pitch. Wainwright waves at it, strikes out. Two K's in the inning, five in the game for Bud Norris limping off the field. All St. Louis after five.
All the items should have higher bids, including the ultimate game day experience, just $3,700. Call 314-345-9418. For those of you who don't know what this is all about, it's for Cardinals Care. Michael Hall is the executive director of Cardinals Care. And for those people who aren't aware of the good work you do, tell us about some of the things you guys are involved with. Cardinals Care is our team foundation, and we support kids. And uh, the way we do that is by raising money throughout the year, and uh, we do it through cash grants and through our Redbird Rookies program. It's a unique partnership that you guys have with the fan base of the St. Louis Cardinals. They really help out when you need it, don't they? We're very lucky. Cardinals Nation's great to us, and uh, we really appreciate all the support tonight. A couple of the low bid items. If someone's thinking about making a bid and helping out Cardinals care, what would you say to them? I'd say don't wait till the end. Uh, it's going to end at the end of the 7th, so if you're thinking about bidding, call in now. Time is a waste, and thank you, Michael. Thank you. Guys, we send it back to you. All right, Jim, thank you, Michael. We appreciate it. And it's a seven-run lead for St. Louis here in the top of the sixth. Altuve, Wallace, and Castro. Get those hands off that net. So the top of the lineup, Wainwright, very sharp tonight. Two hits allowed. He has struck out seven. I know he had his seven strikeouts through four innings. Twelve is his career high. And a ground ball. He puts it in play. Carpenter there. One away. The other day it was Freddie Freeman and tonight it's Lucille Puig. I think that's because you were crying because it wasn't really Puig. Right. AT&T Twitter poll. You can hear your voice Dan. Contusion of the left big toe sends Ronnie Sedano out of this game. Be crazy for me to talk about an actual issue in the game. I know what you're saying. Though. I, I shouldn't talk about that. With Pui. No, you were crying because no, no, no. Because Freeman won over the weekend, and it doesn't count this poll anyway. It's, it's our curiosity. It's, this game is, is for the fans and whatever player they want in there, I'm all for it. But your your man had four strikeouts and four bats yesterday. There's a extra base hit off the bat of Brett Wallace. He's on his way to second and stops there. One out double. Cardinals former one number one draft pick. He's always hit the Cardinals fairly well. Let me ask you this question. Yes, sir. Are you not one bit at least intrigued with Puig? Oh, I can't wait to see him here. Me neither. And, but I don't want to see him do well against the Cardinals. And I think that's how many fans. I just give you. I want to give you a hard time. You, you always hit. Oh, you never. I'm, I've never I mean, done that, Dan. Day one since I walked in here, you've been all smiles and hugs. Made well, it pretty easy early you, Dan. on. There were a couple times I thought I was maybe a little rough. Rough? No. You, you know. You? No. When, when you were about 20. No. Not you, Al. And I was 60. Now look at us. <laughs> Next year, your 30th year behind the mic. Oh. And Castro is hit by the pitch. And remember, Yachty had been pitched and we just had uh, hit by warnings. a pitch early before. Home plate umpire is Mark Wegner. Orange Jewish Difference Maker. Orange Jewish Hospital. And this far, it's Adam Wainwright, five and a third. Three hits, no runs. He's walked one. 
And the seven strikeouts. That walk was just his 14th this year back in the second inning. And when Molina was hit, I was trying to remember, wasn't there a little few guys hit in the series in Houston? There's a base hit into right field. Wallace will score. And advancing on the play, Castro to third. So the RBI for JD Martinez is 33rd to drive in Wallace. A little slider cutter right there, and Wallace had a pretty good swing on it. Now Martinez drives in the first run, drives in Wallace. He was at first and third. So instead of the double play ball, you can see Castro. Go over the third base. Now, take me inside the mindset right now, the players. You, you've got a guy out there with, for the most part, impeccable control. Your all star, your MVP was just hit. Now, Wainwright is hit their all star. You're wearing the Cardinal uniform. What does that say about Wainwright as a teammate? What's it mean? As far as the respect factor for a guy like that. Well, that's it. I mean, it's a situation there where you're sticking up for your team. And like I said, I felt like there was something. Can't quite remember what all went transpired. And a couple guys get hit in Houston, and then in this game like this, it looks a little suspicious when Yachty gets hit. So you just come back and say, okay, this even up, one-one. We just play baseball. But Wainwright gets the respect of all hitters. The last thing you want is to have a hitter go and tell a starting pitcher, you've got to protect. Him. Either that pitcher is going to do it on his own, or there's somebody else on the on the on the pitching staff that will take care of it for him. But it's also a fine line because I've seen some pitchers that won't protect their, their hitters. And you don't want to lose a game, you know. I've seen guys that if you tell them to do it, and they would refuse to do it or afraid to do it, and then they can't pitch. So you have to know who will protect you in your game and who won't. One and two, the count on Pena with one out. Runners at the corners. Boy, that is nasty stuff right there. That cutter, he threw that twice to Pena. That swing was odd to say the least. Well, I think Wainwright's a little upset at the fact that he he made a couple pitches that stayed up a little bit. He got hurt with the base hit to Wallace, and then J.D. Martinez drew, drove him in. So you can see now it's a little more geared back to where he's finishing off his pitches, throwing them where he wants them. Talk about guys policing the game, and there, there are times where you might have a pitcher that's a little, you know, headhunter or goes out and throws at different times, and all of a sudden, you know, his own teammates will go to him and say, "Wait a minute, you're going to get one of us hurt." So they'll be able to control their own guys too. We've also seen after benches have been worn many times, especially with young pitchers. They get afraid to pitch how they normally would, and if that means they pitch inside, they they have to do it. Yeah, they and sometimes they go away from it and they get hit. And then they're they're really making a mistake. Broken bat taken by Descalso quickly to first, and Kraus is retired. Houston gets on the board, RBI single by J.D. Martinez. It's seven one.
If you have a young one at home, you're a family of four and you have a boy or girl, 15 or under, and you want to be a real hero, check out the Shelby Miller package. Your kid will actually get to play catch on the field with Shelby Miller. All four of the people that are part of the package will get an autographed baseball from Shelby Miller. All four will receive a behind-the-scenes tour of the Cardinal Clubhouse with Shelby Miller. You get four field box tickets as well. Shelby Miller is becoming a star. And think of the memories you'll provide for your young one. You could say, you know what? I did that for you. You had a catch on the field with Shelby Miller. Dan, that's what memories are made of. That's right. I did that for you. Don't you remember you on great? No, that's uh, something that you can do, and it'll be very nice for your son or daughter, grandson, granddaughter. Visit Cardinals.com slash TV auction. Cardinals.com slash TV auction. Or again, the number 314-345-9418. I want to reiterate this point. You do not have to bid on those items. You just want to make a donation. Any amount is greatly appreciated. And it's been from rebuilding homes in Joplin to giving kids the chance to play baseball. Over 5,000 in the St. Louis area. All the different programs that are associated with education. So we hope you uh, make a donation. Any size is greatly appreciated. Lucas Harrell, Chevy called to the pen. He made a start against St. Louis in that brief two game set. And he is a native of Missouri. This is his first relief appearance for quite a while. He made 19 starts with varying degrees of good and bad. He's a Ground ball specialist. His last relief appearance was September 28, 2011, against St. Louis. I think he beat the Cardinals three times last year. Ground ball pitcher. And look at Matt Carpenter just doing what Matt Carpenter does. It's another base hit. And he's thinking too, hustling out of the box, and he is safe. Somehow he avoids the tag. Of Jim Gilmore. That play, in a nutshell, describes Matt Carpenter pretty much at all times and certainly this season. Hustling, making something out of nothing. He picks up a double. It's his second of the night, a three hit night, another multi hit campaign. This guy is fun to watch. He really is. And just loves to play the game he plays it the right way and yeah he was safe. Harold just crossed up Castro and watch him go to the inside he misses the tag and he gets to the base ahead of it. So very good call right there. You think Tim Timmons with that did you think initially he was out. No doubt. Yeah you too. Throw, I guess, was just a bit offline, but yep. not much. Wasn't received at the bag. So it's a leadoff double for Carpenter. Here's Beltron, who has an RBI tonight, back in the fourth. Pops it up a mile high. Foul territory, oh, and catch made by Wallace. That ball has slimmed down quite a bit since we first saw him. You're paying much attention to it, but when he was racing around the bags, picked up the double, he is running much a better. lot better. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, they told me when when he was in in college, and I think he stole like 20 bases. Brent Wallace, he was a triple crown winner at Arizona State. He's Last three outings for Harold. They're all starts, and see kind of the mixed bag we've seen. Good and bad from him, but then he's had some of those short ones and that put him in the bullpen. Wake up call. And Holiday hit by that pitch. Lances back at Harrell. He might see Mike Matheny's going to go out there. This is when umpires get themselves in trouble by warnings, issuing warnings. And now. You know, because if an umpire thinks somebody's deliberately throwing at a pitcher, deliberately throwing a hitter, he can eject him 
without a warning. So when you put on warnings, then it's natural. You think that, okay, that's going to stop everything. If somebody's throwing, they're throwing inside, and that one is awfully far inside. But our home plate umpire, Mike Wagner, thought that was unintentional. And Matt Holliday, as I said, right when it happened, you could see him staring back at Lucas Harrell as if that pitch had a little bit more than just a pitch inside. Yeah, I think Lucas Harrell, I don't know how tough he is, but he's not tough enough for Matt Holliday. If Matt Holliday ever got mad, look out. He's been hit before, he doesn't like it, but he knows how to play the game the right way. A little stare to. Hey, you don't do it again. Alan Craig is eight for fifteen against this right hander. So you put another guy on base. Two zero pitch drops down. A little sidearm there from Lucas Harrell. I don't remember him doing that. No, but try to do little things. You mentioned he was a little upset taken out of the rotation, and this is his first relief appearance in a couple years. But your other stuff's not working. Come up with something new. The 2 1 pitch. Got a pretty good arm to be released by the White Sox. On Craig. Be a handful of years before we see the Astros again after tomorrow night. Interleague play will shift, and it sounds like the American League East would be the teams that the Cardinals would face next year. It sounds like the preliminary schedule would have both the Yankees and Boston coming to St. Louis next year. About how big those crowds are going to be. Here's a 3 2 pitch to Craig. Get out of play. Craig, a bouncer right side. Altuve was going towards the bag at second. And Alan Craig delivers again as the ball scoots away. And he'll take second base. Alan Craig, two hits tonight. And that's 70 driven in this year. Three runs scored for Matt Carpenter. Alan Craig just been a monster. RBIs, totally misses location, supposed to be inside, it's out away from him. He just shoots the gap where vacated second baseman was. And Altuve, I think, was trying to keep Carpenter close to the bag, and now Craig with 70 RBIs, most by Cardinal pre All Star break. He is tied with Ripper Collins. How about look at William McGee up there with Albert Pujols and Mark McGuire, the one here. 
They'll load him up. An intentional pass here to Molina to bring up David Freeze, who is three for three tonight. Interesting inning, huh? Sure is. Would the Cardinals then think about pinch running for Molina and get him out of this game? Intentional pass here. Yachty is tapped back to the pitcher, was robbed on a double play by Brett Wallace, and then hit by the pitch, run scored back in the fifth. See Mike Matini talking to Aldretti, but and seem to be looking for a pinch run. Okay, Freeze needs another hit tonight to go over 280. In 33 of his last 42 games. Base is loaded. And he looks at an off speed pitch high. Interesting that you would load the bases up with a guy that is struggling with his command. He's already hit a man. You can see that Castro's been calling for a number of pitches in and out, hasn't hit spots. One ball, one strike. Reason why you may question the intentional pass is gaudy numbers for freeze against right hander Lucas Harrell. Um, I think he's a ground ball pitcher and has shown that ability trying to get the double play ball. And he may get it here. Out at second, and the move pays off the double play. First time that Freeze has been retired tonight. to benefit Cardinals care if you have your eye on something call 314-345-9418 one thing is a proven fact people love Jim Edmonds and right now the Jim Edmonds VIP experience the bid is six thousand dollars we think someone is going to go higher what you get exclusive access joining Jim Edmonds on set for Fox Sports Midwest pregame show you shadow me during BP I will personally hand you twenty dollars 
You spend the game in a private room on the broadcast level that includes food and beverages. Edmonds will visit that private room. You watch the Fox Sports Midwest post game show at a VIP table at the Stadium Club at Lumiere Place. You get one night stay at Hotel Lumiere, which includes two rooms a day for this, August 22nd. Dan, I know you love Jim Edmonds. I thought you'd bid on that package. I'm thinking about it. Uh, knowing Jimmy, I'm sure he'll tweet all about it and tell you all about it, too. Hey, you could get 20 bucks back from Jim Hayes. That'd be worth it oh. right there, right? Man. Big spender, Jim I never, Hayes. Never thought about that. Just don't expect the cab fare. <laughs> That's an inside joke for all of you out there in Cardinal Nation about Jim Hayes. Because we love Jim. <laughs> we love to give him a little trouble, too. He does a great job for us. And we appreciate his hard work tonight. Wainwright steps and throws. And again, it's the uh, bottom of the seventh that comes to a close. The Cardinals were hoping to have roughly forty, fifty thousand dollars raised. Well, we're going to have a lot more than that. So if you're on the fence about uh, making a donation or bidding on one of the items that includes our very own Jim Hayes, make sure you do it. 314 345 9418. 314 345 9418 cardinals.com slash TV auction and again any amount we very much appreciate and uh, good job by Jim Hayes tonight keeping us updated we appreciate that as well there's a strike to Jake Elmore and there's a base hit out to left Brown tonight forty three thousand eight hundred and thirty six four three eight three six fourteenth sold out crowd this season things just got serious because the Cardinals have eight runs tonight so you'll score any size coffee fountain or frozen drink for just 50 cents tomorrow at on the run while you're there be sure to stop by on the way cafe breakfast biscuits hot dog sandwiches and more only at on the run. Jimmy Paradis and he takes a high strike took over at right field last inning then they moved J.D. Martinez to left Krause was done for the night it was when they brought in Lucas Harrell. Might be one of those games, Al, where Cardinals could curtail the workload of Adam Wainwright. Pitch count at 91. You think about maybe a Rob Johnson getting some playing time, making his Cardinal debut. See a lot of scenarios. I'm not sure Mike Matheny's going along with those. Another strikeout for Wainwright. And that is number nine tonight. I don't know about you, but I am so pumped because it's the AT&T Uverse Rewind. Here it is. Let's get you caught up to date. Nine strikeouts tonight for Adam Wainwright. More on him in a moment. Carpenter, the three hits, three runs scored, three RBIs. But Norris, five innings, got knocked around. To think that Matt Carpenter came in one for 12 against Bud Norris and Adam Wainwright awfully effective this evening. Here's Altuve. That's about right, though. You know, first time most of the Cardinals, first three or four times for games, they saw Bud Norris. They had very little success, but you can tell by today they have figured him out. It's nice to get the two run home run by Holiday in the first inning to set the tone for this game.
if there was ever a time to get Johnson into a game or Tony Cruz and sit Yadier Molina, I would think this would be the game. You're up eight to one with your ace on the mound. You know he wants to play, but this is one of those instances where you take the decision away from the player. Right, and I think most people felt that, okay, you know, they've got the good MRI, just inflammation, it's not a problem, just be cautious of it, aware of it. So give him at least this day off, if not both days, but. Doctors have cleared him to play, and Mike Matheny put him in there because he wants to be in. Get back to Wainwright, knocks it down, and he makes the play. Time to stretch. The Cardinals lead at eight to one. Is coming to an end. It ends after the seventh inning. That means you have one half inning if you have your eye on something to get in the winning bid. You look at the ultimate game day experience, which includes uh, being part of Team Fredbird. The grounds crew do some PA announcing. That's just four thousand dollars. We could do better, Dan. It's a golden opportunity for someone to do something really nice for themselves or their family, but also helping out a great cause, Cardinal Care has really helped out a, a lot of deserving youngsters in the St. Louis areas among other things. Sure have Jim and we appreciate your work tonight with Michael keeping an eye on that 1997 it started over 20 million raised. So that uh, picture I think would tell you that Adam Wainwright is through for the night. Seven innings of good one run baseball. Five hits nine strikeouts one run. Secrets. Can't wait to see more of him. <laughs> Milwaukee, by the way, holds on. They defeat Cincinnati. Schaefer hits a two run homer in the fifth, and that's all they needed. Singrani takes a loss. He's now three and one. Peralta the win, six and nine. Cincinnati only three hits in that game. Milwaukee, four. And they win it two to nothing. Oakland still leading Pittsburgh as they move to the bottom of the eighth. And that's two to one. Bell four. Not quite his time yet as it moved now to the bottom of the eighth, but um, Bell four is what, 23 for 23, the Oakland closer? Closing in on Dennis Eckersley. And, and the remarkable run straight, that he had. Right? 40 yep. straight. Scalso, big night. A pair of doubles. 
misplay and a liner that was hit at J.D. Martinez back in the second. Then a double, one hop off the wall in right center. That was in the fourth and struck out in the fifth. Hard hit to first. One away. Beautiful shot from Washington Avenue. Here in downtown St. Louis, a few blocks away. John Jay, ground ball the second, two away. Matt Adams will be the pinch hitter. The big two run homer off the bench on Saturday to tie the game up. Cardinals eventually won it. Full numbers on the auction coming up on the post game show. And you still have time to bid. Two outs here in the bottom of the seventh. Put your last bid in now. And a ground ball that's handled by Pena. Cardinals go one, two, three. Thank you to all of you that bid, made a donation. Everyone with the Cardinals appreciates it. Sports Midwest. Let's go to our studio and a Bomberito sports update. Here's Tony Cruz. He's uh, catching now behind the plate. So Molina out of the ball game. And Kevin Segrist, our Chevy, called to the pen. Umpire telling him, Kevin, there's been some warnings issued. And Kevin Segrist has been nothing short of spectacular since arriving on the scene. He's got a chance to do something no other reliever has done in Cardinal history. And that is to have his 12th scoreless appearance to start a career. There have been 11 and that's where Secrets is right now. He's been outstanding with just two hits allowed in his 11 innings. Both of them been to left handers and right handers are 0 for 16 against him. So he's just 
Opponents are batting 057 against this tough left hand. 40 first round draft pick. People have asked, where did this guy come from? As uh, Brett Wallace digs in, one ball, one strike, and they said, Mr. Typical Late Bloomer. A couple of years ago, started to see the guy that we're seeing now and to me if you're Mark Zipchinski you're thinking Mitchell Boggs just got traded and maybe I'm on the, the way out as well where's my spot potentially with this team right now he doesn't have one right now he, he doesn't deserve one you know he's pitching well down there and Cardinals may be able to find a home for him but right now I think Segrist show who's on a three year contract or your two relievers. And Segrist was right in their backyard, Wellington High School in Florida. And also went to Palm Beach Community College. So he was right there in the neighborhood for spring training. Well, this guy is nasty. Throwing mid 90s, good breaking ball. Bam. Got good size to him, you know, for a pitcher. Listed at 6'5, 215, kind of lanky, and a lot of arms and legs going all over the place. Got good whip action. Have you seen enough, Al, that if the Cardinals wanted to after the season, have you seen enough of those secondary pitches to say that potentially Segrist could work himself into a rotation? And what Dan, what I see right now is I like him where he's at. Oh, I, I mean, I'm not saying that. I don't like him. I, I agree with you. You know, and but I think, he, I think up to a absolutely. I mean, when you can be this kind of weapon where he is right now, maybe after another year of the bullpen, maybe you think about that. But Cardinals have so many young potential starters. So leave them in the bullpen. It's a nice problem to have, isn't it? What a weapon. And as you mentioned, lefties or righties. Yeah, I mean, just like said. So I've given up two hits in 11 and third innings right now, and they've both been left handers. And righties are 0 for 16 against him, so I mean, he's just overmatching some of these hitters. This is a National League All Star right here, Castro. I mean, just look at some of these swings. The, these swings are very tardy on this uh, fastball. The 2 2 just missed 96. He has hit 97. It's kind of a easy, easy motion, and the ball just jumps out of his hand. And a 3 2 pitch to Jason Castro. Got him, struck him out. Not trying to trick anybody there. I mean, that's just 95, and here you go. Sometimes scouts like to sit behind. Other times they like a side view to just see what the action of the pitch. Thing that Castro knows is he came up empty. Baseball Al are, are talking about Seagrass, but also about Blazik. Yeah, and Blazik is, and I talked a little bit with Dennis Martinez, who had both these guys on little minors about them, and he was talking about Michael Blazik, who's another guy that high octane goes harder than the, the 97 that Seagrass has. There's El Presidente, and he said, wait till you see his breaking ball. On Blazik. But you know, he's very confident on both these young guys. Very high on him. And I said, I've heard about the breaking ball. We have, and he said, Boy, you'll see it eventually. 
There's a high fly ball out to left. That'll stay in the ballpark and another scoreless inning for Segrist. The run continues. St. Louis on top. 8-1. Cardinals baseball on Fox Sports Midwest is brought to you by Budweiser, the official beer, Major League Baseball. Great times are waiting. Grab some buds. And by Ford, the official cars and trucks of the St. Louis Cardinals. Warm night, and here is Carpenter. What a night he's had. A pair of doubles, sack fly RBI, three runs scored. Three hits. Ground ball to the right side. One away. This copyrighted telecast is presented by the authority of the St. Louis Cardinals and may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. The accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of the St. Louis Cardinals. Harold's in his third inning of work, and he's doing his job right now. Last six outs have been ground balls. There's a liner out to left. That ball gets down off the bat of Beltron. Now he's thinking two on his way to second in there safely. One out double. Indication there how well he's running as. He was a little surprised after the turn and just elegantly glided into second base, but he turned it on a little bit. Hits it out there, watch him watch it here. But he gets over here and then he sees the throw coming in and he just turns it up a little bit in a nice easy slide. Very graceful how he plays the game. Shane Robinson, his first plate appearance. Cardinals have used Matt Adams off the bench. And Robinson was the hero the other day. Turned out to be a non routine walk off base hit. Looked to be a routine hit to right. It was. And it turned out to be a walk off. Being a double and up the relay throw, got underneath Logan Morrison. And John Jay came home on that one. He showed. And look, is that Blasic? Michael Blasic is a right hander with show. One ball, one strike. Big Cardinal fan, Mike Mayo. Celebrating his 25th birthday here at the ballpark, Mr. Mayo. 
Happy birthday. This is favorite player Matt Adams. Unfortunately, we've already seen Adams pinch hit. Came up empty tonight. We know that he has done some serious damage. Big. What's the name? Big city, big country. All kinds of names. It's called the big man. He had the big blast the other day, did Matt Adams, so he's been fun to watch. I'll tell you what, we never get disappointed when see him stroll up to the batter's box. Never know. And that's out of play. Well, he likes that pitch up. We yeah. talked about it a lot, but he takes a vicious cut. Shane Robinson, not very big, but you're right. He likes the ball up and it'll give it. It'll put a swing in it. It's not an easy one. You're not trying to Diving, trying to rip it. Oh, watch out. And it's ball four, so Robinson is aboard. Now, now the crank, another RBI opportunity. Right, you've got a warning. He's already hit a man. Now he throws one over a batter's head. And it's all okay. Sometimes the umpire's got to say, wait a minute, you have to have better control than that. Maybe it's not a, un intentional, but. There's a broken bat, base hit out to left. Run will score to make it nine to one. Robinson on his way to third. Two RBI night for Alan Craig. He's up to 71. Now Craig, three hits today. He's he's pushing 230. Excuse me, 330. He's at 329 after his third hit tonight. And as you say, his second RBI, Jane Robinson can run. But he had 100 steals, 100 plus steals at Florida State collegiately. Tony Cruz will get his first plate appearance. Mike Cadini was talking about that. There were several times when they only had the two catchers that he wanted to use Tony Cruz as a pinch hitter, but just felt like he couldn't do it. But now carrying three catchers, Rob Johnson joins the ball club today. We can see some more at bats for Tony. Up the middle, and nifty play here at short as they turn two. Sends us to the ninth. Mike Matheny and the Cardinals lead it 9 1.
St. Louis coming up after the game on the post-game edition of Missouri Lottery Cardinals Live. Pat Paris and Chris Duncan are at Lumiere Place. The cards roll over. Big bad Bud Norris. They'll break it down. Adam Wainwright looking for win number 12 tonight. He was razor sharp to look at his night. Plus we'll have Mike Matheny's post-game comments. Randy Choate on the pitch for the Cardinals. We go back to the booth and Dan and Al, guys. Jim, good job tonight. You were busy over at the uh, Basically, the headquarters for uh, Cardinals Care tonight. Great job as always. Here's Randy Choate, the uh, lefty comes in, and he needs some work. Chevy called to the pen. This will be his 31st appearance of the season. Opponents only hitting 203, and an ERA of an even two. They have moved to the ninth inning, bottom half in Pittsburgh. Balfour is on to close it for Oakland. The Pirates have a runner at first and nobody out. Matt Dominguez is going to pinch it here. And then Chris Carter is on deck. Dominguez, we saw him play in third base. And Shane Robinson stays in the game. He's playing left field. Cardinals franchise record 12 consecutive scoreless appearances to begin a career. Segrist, now the numbers say two for 38. That is just amazing. Two for 38. You know, he's going to have a game where he's going to give up some runs and get some hits, but I'll tell you one thing he's going to be here for a while. Oh, yeah. Two balls and one strike. Randy Choate came in to get one out in that blowout win for St. Louis in Los Angeles against the Angels. Never know when you're up by 10. One out to go. Here's a ground ball and deep in the hole to Scalso. Long throw to first offline. The base hit for Matt Dominguez. Good effort. Player of the game, Adam Wainwright. Seven innings, the nine strikeouts, the one walk, five hits allowed, and just one earned run. And make the pitching change as Michael Blazik will come in here. Cardinals up 9 1, but a man on trying to get the final three outs. So Chevy called the pen, spun off a breaking ball, and both you and I kind of looked at each other and said, whoa, wait a minute. And we hadn't really seen that. We know he's got a pretty good fastball, too. We know he's got the fastball, but we've heard about that breaking ball. We saw it there and kind of 
surprised us because it was so tight and so quick, late moving. This is a young man, his seventh year in the Cardinal minor league system. He's a 35, 35th round draft selection. So there were 1,067 people drafted ahead of Michael Blazing. And this is the guy that people will associate with the Cardinal minor league system said, watch out. As impressive as all, all the other guys have been, this is the one that they say may be the absolute best. Just being equal <laughs> to three or four of them, pretty impressive. Grant Balfour has struck out Andrew McCutcheon. Now with runner at first, he's dealing with Pedro Alvarez. Cardinals runner at first here for Houston, and that pitch at 96 from Michael Blazek. Short arms. Ball gets on. This is Chris Carter, the pinch hitter. It's a lot of home runs, also strikes out a bunch. Yep. 1 0 pitch. There's breaking ball there. One ball, one strike. Another slider. Can't say enough. When Houston is in town, you know, you think about Jeff Luno. He ran the draft in conjunction with Cardinals front office, but it's the guys that are making the impact in the lower rounds. Yeah. You know, that's that to me is what has just been amazing about what the Cardinals are doing. These are players that aren't top five even top ten picks. No, I mean like I said, you know, that's what you really your scouts are all about is you know everybody has a system where everybody knows everybody and you know it's just the luck of the draw on the top picks, but it's when you get guys in 35th, 41st, you know, you get guys down there, you know, that's you're finding people. And there's sure there's luck involved with it, but Sign them, give them a chance. And as I said, Blazik's seventh year in the system. Out of a high school in Las Vegas. Also says a lot about not just the draft, but then once you get the players, developing them, and then having the luxury of winning at this level and not having to force them to be uh, you know, maybe exposed at the major league level, you let them develop. And Dan, you know, a lot of times. Parents think, oh, my son's drafted, he's going to be a major league. Well, there's a great, a higher percentage of those kids are just filling out rosters for the few prospects because they have to have teammates. And so it's it's still a far cry. You get drafted that you're going to make it. And right now he's going to find the strike zone. Brandon Barnes is at the plate. Pirates officially go down, so they lose their ball game. Pittsburgh now 53 and 36. Cardinals could be up by a game and a half before the night is through. Something like they've lost four of the last five. And that'll be four in a row. And they're at home. Cincinnati losing at home tonight. That'll be their third in a row. And the Cardinals a chance to win their fourth straight. Found out how good Oakland is. So turn around. Here's a 1 1 pitch. Just missed in. Two balls and one strike. Kansas City beat the Yankees 3 1. White Sox over Detroit 11 4. Atlanta over Miami 6 4. Tampa Bay beat Minnesota 4 1. Cubs over the Angels 7 to 2. Pools did a homer in that game. Phillies over Washington 4 to 2. Texas beat Baltimore 8 to 4. Cleveland blanks Toronto 3 to nothing. And everything else is still in action. As we mentioned, Milwaukee defeated Cincinnati 2 to nothing. And the A's over Pittsburgh 2 to 1.
And there's a walk. Eric Lilquist come out and talk. Get somebody up in the bullpen. He's again pitched since Angel Series. July the second. Keith Butler looks like he's getting ready. This throw strikes. Elmore. His second plate appearance, one for one tonight. Foul back by Jake Elmore. Strike one. Base is loaded. And nobody out. Again, you can buy those seats for the uh, Hall of Fame weekend. In San Diego after the All Star break that Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, Ozzie Smith bobblehead. Red Shandy's 1940 jerseys giveaway. And then the statue, replica statue for Stan the Man, our auction has closed. But if you buy a ticket for that game or games, Cardinals will take $5 and donate that right back to Cardinals Care. So $5 of every one of those tickets sold between now and midnight will go to Cardinals Care. We understand that we surpassed the goal by thousands tonight, the original goal of what they expected for this auction. So thank you to everyone that donated. One ball but two strikes. Cardinals wrap up the homestand tomorrow. We'll come your way at 6:30. Shelby Miller looking for win number 10. Jordan Lyles goes for Houston. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We will be in Chicago. Off the end of the bat, a little flare out to left, and that drops in for a hit. A run will score, and that makes it nine to two. More two for two. Drives in. Run. Not very pretty. Breaking ball. Hits it right off the end of the bat, so it's not going to carry out to Shane Robinson. And picks up an RBI. They get their second run. Still 9 2. And that run charged to Randy Choate. There's a ground ball. Craig to second and no play back to first and. Scalso may have taken a spike. I've been out there like he did. Three six on the put out it is an RBI. Back leg, you're trying to sweep it. Lays it down up on ERA now. Ball one to Jose Altuve.
Altuve hits it sharply into left center field. Off the glove of Descalso. Run will score. And now it gets a little interesting here with runners at first and third. Altuve picks up the RBI and a base hit. And it's nine to four. It's hard hit ball. It takes a bad hop. Scalzo didn't have much of a shot at that one at all. You got your left hand of bats coming up, and you don't have it. The two lefties have already been used. Brad Wallace at the plate. All these Astros had to play against these young Cardinal pitchers in, in the Pacific Coast League. I'm very familiar with them, no doubt. Mojica has gotten up. Nearing a save situation. One away. One batter away. That's right. Another man moving. Two pitch. Brown ball, and that is fair. We'll step on the bag and get the out. Wallace picks up an RBI. Nine to five. Runner at second base. And the hitter will be Castro. This is where it gets frustrating when you have to get your closer up. Remember, he's thrown four of the last five days with yesterday's off day. Four in a row, the off day.
2 1 pitch. 3 and 1. Because the Astros were in the American League now, we didn't have to American League game. Got it tonight, didn't we? <laughs> At least this last inning. And it's three and two. But the crowd tonight, that was sold out crowd. Outstanding. Expecting a huge crowd again tomorrow night, though so, uh, still seats available, and they're on their feet. See Michael throws this one out. Three two pitch. Hit down the right field line. And that is foul. Just by much. Up the side wall and that forces. He could to throw a few more pitches. And Blazik as well. He's at 30 now. Just heard a fan say fun at the old ball yard. That's right. Cardinals leading nine to five and trying to finish it off right here. Out to talk to him as Castro's having a lengthy at bat here. Houston did have a, a, a nine inning game that went four hours and seven minutes already this year. Really? This one's about, about 215, 2 216. I don't think it'll go that far, Dan. I think the Cardinals are going to win right here. This pitch over the fans. Pitching change coming up. Mike's already called for Mojica, so Blazy can't close it out. And where Mojica, the Cardinals closer, will have a, time, a chance to pick up the save right here. Cardinals lead 9 5. Saves in 23 of 24. Chance to pick up number 24. One on one on the season with a 241 ERA. 37 plus innings. Just two walks and 32 strikeouts. And this is his 38th appearance of the year. 
it will be a safe situation. You got the two runners on, and then you have the batter plus the on deck hitter. So as long as that on deck hitter is potentially the tying run, he would be credited with a save if he gets the final out here. A.D. Martinez is one for four with a home run against Mojica. How about one pitch and we head home? I think it's a, a very good possibility. Except he missed it. It's too good. <laughs> think about the mindset too of a closer. You're up 9 1. Last thing you're thinking about is being put into this game. But. You know, we had this lengthy inning here, so he had the adrenaline flowing. And in my experience, Dan, and, and managers treat relievers a lot better. Instead of pitching two or three innings down there, they usually don't get you up unless you've got a pretty good chance of getting in there. So as long as you come in and have some game action, I mean, you kind of feel like you, you've stretched out. If you're just warming up in the bullpen, you're just backing off and Kind of like an engine, you're just running at, you know, running at 45 instead of really getting it, putting the pedal to the metal and letting it fly. So by coming into this ball game, you kind of stretch out a little bit, and it's a lot easier tomorrow. Two balls, two strikes. Team, he did the right thing and getting Yadier Molina out of this game, getting Holiday out of this game, bringing in some extras with the big lead. But you always worry about it when you get, get into one of these situations. Three and two. One hiccup that he just had this year cost a victory to Wainwright. No, he doesn't want to do it. Cost another one. And right trying to win his 12th game. He beat 12 and 1. Or excuse me, 13 and 1 lifetime against Houston. And trying to win his 12th game this year. 3-2 pitch. Young Houston Astros, you know, they're just having a little fun. Carefree. Just go up there. Trying to compete with one of the best teams in, in the game today. And that does it. The Cardinals win it nine to five. And they'll look for a sweep tomorrow night. Wainwright picks up the victory. Number 12, but Norris takes the loss. And the Cardinals hold on at 9 to 5. Big, big team win because Cincinnati and the Pirates both lose. Cardinals gain ground, but more importantly, they get the 12th win for Adam Wainwright. Another save from Mahika, number 24. Cardinals win the game. The Cardinals uh, care, folks, raise a lot of money tonight. We appreciate everyone that donated. Post game show, Jim Hayes standing by. It's 9 5, our final tonight.